we are here at the MVP Open presented by OTB Dis, the second and final playoff event leading into the Tour Championship. We're here with Simon today, past champion, reigning champion. I don't know what the right, what's the right terminology? Past champion feels Coins. like it's like you didn't oh. win like last year. No, I'm reigning. Current and reigning. Coins. Current and reigning champion Defending. here. Defending. 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 Defending, there we go. Defending! Shout out to Izzy. Sorry, bud. We're here, MVP Open, playing with Simon, going to show you some of the new changes on the course. Not massive. Oh. Hole nine is a completely new hole, so that will be interesting to see. And then also they are gonna be changing some of the Change. pin locations, uh, basket locations rather, on some of these holes as well. Let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the final playoff event, I guess. Do we call the, tour, is Tour Championship technically a playoff event? I don't think it is. No. I think okay. A, I think it's a championship. Yeah, so this is the final playoff event. Simon, where are you sitting right now? Do you know points-wise? Couldn't tell you. I think just what? around top 10, maybe 11th or 12th. I, I know who knows where there are. Oh, this wh guy This guy knows exactly where, where I'm at. Yeah, you know exactly where you are. 13th? No, you don't know? I think I'm 13th. Okay, so this is actually a big tournament. I'm 13th. This is a big tournament for you guys. Yeah. Cause Am I beating you? Yes. Okay. I think you're like 10th. Because the way that they're doing it this year is yeah. score-based. Oh, yeah. right. So the, the higher up you get, obviously, the better score you have. So it's not this, like, I just need to get in the top eight. So. But that is where we're at. Uh, last week we had off, so that was nice. Everyone didn't – no tournaments, right? No tournaments? No tournaments. No tournaments. And we're just here today. We're going to get Simon's view on the course. I would love to hear, too. Gooseman says this is a terrible course, so I would love to hear <laughs> – Oh, my gosh. He did. Well, we'll just flame him right away. I love I'm just that. saying, Gooseman doesn't like this course, but this is also, I would say, maybe some of – the fans' favorite course on tour. Yeah. So I would love to hear why you think this is a, like, why do you like this course so much? Other than it being at your home course, obviously. Right now or throughout the video? Throughout the video. Okay, here we go. Hole one, par four, over the water, 853 feet. We're gonna play all to the long baskets, but we will show you the short basket uh, locations. Get over the water, miss all the trees. Up shot. Four minute intro done, let's go. It's actually a tailwind today, which is a rare. So you wanna go- Normally left. head, right? You wanna go left side, about six feet left of the basket. Okay, just left of the basket. Um, and then just far, basically. Okay, that's about six feet left of the basket and far. Yeah, that might be a sweet spot right there. That will do. Okay. So tempting just to flex one out there, but it's really not necessary. Have you, have you ever gotten close to the gap? Yeah. Just messing Actually, around. When I was uh, first test throwing my prototype time lapses, um, they were a bit understable, so I just freaking like hung them out there and <laughs> I got them like 20 feet before the wall. Like, crush it. I'm just gonna try to get this just past the FPO basket. Oh! Just past it. Up. Nose up, left side. Super short. That's mm. exactly what I want. I'm gonna do one more. I like how the trees at the landing zone are not as tall this year. So if you blast it, you're pretty much good. Well, you think a lot of people, right a lot of people were celebra celebrating Christmas last well, year? I think yeah. your phone screen, I think your save screen on your phone is still Christmas. Yeah. Oh. It's just around the corner, a couple months away. <laughs> football, football season just started. What the heck's wrong with you? That is marginally better. That's a really good shot. That's actually a lot better. Do you guys ever feel like when you take a couple days off and you come back, you don't throw nearly as far? Or do you um, jump right back into it immediately? You take a couple, a couple days off? I took four days off. And you lost distance? Well, no, I don't, I'm just saying like, if it, do you, you don't feel that way? You don't feel like uh, it's harder I, uh, to throw hard? Well, from my experience, I it's the opposite for me. I like come back and I feel like I'm throwing further. Oh, oh that must be nice. Here's my secret cap. <laughs> I, I always throw short. Sweet Avenger reference, dude. Nerd. I don't think the Avengers, that was a truck in my way. I don't think the Avengers, like, far. Or I feel like Marvel has gotten to a point where it's not even naughty anymore. You know, like, I feel like it's so widely accepted that it's like, he looks like a Power Ranger. Cool. <laughs> now that is, that is little. I'm gonna, yeah, the pink Power Ranger. I'm gonna oh, <laughs> $100 to get in the back of the truck. Let's go, $100. That is a great shot, though. Holy smoke. That is right that in the nice. 
Ping, 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 Power Ranger. I don't know what they say. I like if I knew what? the Power Ranger. Mighty thing. Morphin Power Ranger. I did not. I never watched that. I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't a nerd as a kid. So oh, okay. nothing to see here. Just Simon's casually walking away. Just just, oh, hey, Simon, that's a just, really cool bag you got. No, it, no. September twenty first. Oh, there's nothing to see here. There's just normal activities. Oh, oh. Steve's dog I and I. We we had a phone call and he asked me if I think it's a good idea to have like a moving day pin position to make the whole course like score like three yeah. or four strokes easier. I think it's time for us to try it. I, I wouldn't even mind I wouldn't even mind doing like alternating. I wouldn't hate it. But I think I think right now is the yeah. right thing if we're just slowly working ourselves into it, right? Yeah. There's what, only four holes? Three. Uh, three? I think it's just three? An, I think it's just the false three. Okay. I kinda okay. like the Oh two, you're right. First three. I kinda like the two rounds of Deglo. Deglo, yep. But right. Deglo is still also only a couple holes. Right. Right? It's just we're it's slowly, a good it's a good step in the right direction. Slowly working yeah. in. Alright, you're going backhand here. Throwing it down. Getting the slide, never has a chance to go OB. That's yeah, a really good shot. Yeah, it's a very safe play. It's a really good shot. Yeah, it looks like nighttime in those woods right now. That's exactly where I was aiming. Nice gap I hit. I don't want any... Okay. And good wall. that was uh, two of the luckiest shots of all time, the luckiest breaks of all time. How many rounds do you think wow, you've got out here, Simon, under your belt? In total, any layout or just gold? Any layout. Probably in the three digits. Wow. Hundreds. Right. That could be 900 plus, you know? No, it's, it's about. under 200, over 100, I think. That would be my, be my best get. Uh-oh. Oh, good skip. Okay. I know this course is one of those where I would say the majority of people like this course, but then they're obviously, anything that's super liked, they're gonna be people that don't like it. But I will say this, regardless of whether you like it or not on tour, this is probably one of the better courses to have in your backyard because of how many different holes how many different shots? This the practicing out here is probably absolutely ridiculous. All right, so short basket here. I think the change is actually a really good change because now you're gonna have some people that you can actually like lay up if you're out of position. You can lay up to this like choke point mm -hmm. and never put yourself being able to go OB and actually still have a putt for par or a putt for birdie. So I think Simon's right in the sense of like. These are going to be more scorable because this basket, if you're out of position, no one's going for that. Mm. <laughs> Hole number two, par three, 381 feet, short pin, 346. I guess we'll just let Simon kind of tell tell what he's thinking since he's like the local of this course. Yeah, this is a classic, of course. A famous hole too, a slightly uphill, OB all around the right side, and then a huge cluster of tree on the left side, which basically I think everyone's aiming at the left, the right side of the cluster and trying to throw something a bit understable. We're dealing with a headwind today, which is extremely rare. Have you ever messed around with the roller on this? Some people, or do uh, they have the logs now? They have the wall. They still have the wall up there? Okay. It used to be Big just wall. like a little creek and now they added a wall. So best case with the roller is basically a 40 footer uphill, which is not terrible. If you get that every time, guaranteed, I might do it, but there's just weird things that can happen with the roller. When I first saw the short pin here, I thought this was gonna be so annoying because parking this hole in the normal pin is so tricky. And I feel like when I'm going to try to park the short pin, I'm going to end up parking <laughs> oh, no. the long pin. And just be like, oh, why don't I just do that? <laughs> that is easy. true. The short basket is kind of like where a bad shot goes most of the time. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and aim for the left trees there and try to turn it over slightly. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Short basket, though. Yep. Got through. Oh. It doesn't hit anything. The shorty. The tee pads here are probably my least favorite part about maple oil. What's your favorite tee pad? Are you a turf guy? Well, uh, have you played Eagles Crossing? Yeah, we played it yep. together. Yep. Those tee pads were... Nice. If I ever build a course, I'm calling Phil and being like, can you give me the number for those guys? I felt really bad for uh, James. I watched him on hole 13 at Fox Run. Oh, no. And it's like, there's a, like a mountain going in and you, he was just like at the back and he, you could just tell he was like, <laughs> like just trying to prance on the back. He was so uncomfortable, he couldn't get his normal run up. Yeah, I played the Glitch Worlds with him, uh, was that Friday? And it was rainy. We were stuck in a huge, like it was a small storm, but a crazy storm. It only lasted like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But after that, he was like slip sliding on all these tees, and that's also one of the reasons Goose hates this course. Just to put it out. Okay, put okay, it out. all right. I, I thought it was the trees and the par threes. Well, it doesn't help, but all right. I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Just play it off that left side. Turn. That's the most common shot you see here. Yeah, that's bad for both baskets. All right, I'm gonna try one more, a little flippier. Little kiss off that 
Hmm. Nah, it's like 40 short. All right. That one. Hold that on, nice. Betty. That looks real nice. Oh, go in. Oh, oh, what a line. Oh. I'm, I don't think I'm going to change my shot at all. Really? Yeah, it's the same hole. No, that's what I was saying. You throw kind of the same shot. Yeah, you hope they go just... And the perfect know. shot is right between the two baskets. Exactly, yeah. 20 footer each way. Three. Oh, can that's you one, no, ace? That's one of the reasons Goose hates this call. <laughs> well, we're going to ace this one, so I have to film it. Because this is going to be a really good shot. Oh, ace the short. No, it's straight. Wow, good shot. See, look at that. It's good for both baskets. Our Lavop cam full works. I'm a pro behind the camera, so. Got it. This should be. Oh, got it. Well, Yikes, I mean, that was not even. From my angle, it looked great. Hey, good shot for you, man. Hey, I'm trying to build really the confidence. Good shot. Trying to build the confidence, good. man. Trying I like to build that. the confidence. I right. thought this basket was way farther away. Yeah, it's way too close, I think. Too close. Yeah, I know. I, I definitely like these two baskets, but. I would have liked this a little more. Yeah. Nice putt. Two for two. Boom. I was thinking, I was thinking more that it was like in here. That's why I was like, I think some people might just chuck it into the woods and have a putt. Well, you kind of do. Yeah, Long you can, putt. You can for sure. I, I just, uh, from the, um, from the <laughs> <laughs> I like this change a lot. Okay, we're on hole three. This is the first change that I think actually the shot shape that you're going to be throwing is completely different. The first basket. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Simon, I'm a Simon. No. We all, we all saw the, well, the facial expression. It's kind of exactly like hole two. The drive where bad shots land is now where the basket is. So you're not even going to try to throw like a turnover versus, because I, I think. I'm going to throw the same exact shot. <laughs> I, think oh, I think it's the same exact all shot. All right. Just like, I stand corrected. Um, One degree less of high ball. Hole eight is 407, back left, and then the Saturday pin is 372 off to the right. I was just thinking maybe you'd want to have it like keep turning instead of like fading out. Well, maybe like, you go spike eyes hole. That's true. <laughs> are you that's opening that's up steaming, my eyes? Steaming, let's go, Brody. I mean, what are the chances you hit one? I actually have to try that now. What are the chances you hit one of these things? Oh, right that out would of? be a nightmare. All right, Simon said it's way too far. I think you're right. Or I am if Simon's throwing it, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my. Pull get, for, get rooted, No, son. pull for both baskets. This golf needs to find a way to eliminate that flukiness on the ground play. Because that was a perfect shot. That was perfect. I mean, wouldn't you just like sand all that stuff? To, the problem is you kill the trees, right? If you sand those roots. So you have to, I think you build up. You I add, think you have you to add, build up. You, you add. add dirt. Well, we need more money. So that's, the, that's the tough thing. All right, I'm going to try a different disc than the last hole because I don't know if that's the right disc on the last hole for me. See, that's, that's bad for both baskets. I'm throwing so nose up right now. Oh, baby. Go in. Guys, oh this hole is God. not this easy. It's, it's as difficult as Corey's making it look, not as easy as Simon's making it look. Hey, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. I'm going to hit the full tree probably, so I'm not... A little more hyzer. This is what an ant shot looks like. Perfect for the new pin. Oh, perfect for the new yep, pin. Off the new pin. Good shot, man. I, that's, I'm trying to go left, but. Proud of you. Oh, we'll sell you fine. Oh. Wow. I'm in the worst possible spot. <laughs> Ooh. All right, hole four, par three, 246, straight down the pipe. This is a fun little hole. They have the Mando, but they also have these barriers now. So it's like you don't even, you can't even think about going right. Oh, it's kind of well placed. Imagine this <laughs> hole with like a 30 foot wide fairway and then hazard left and right. It'd be very scary. Like it I would like it. That'd be a way about, yeah. No, don't show that. It happened, it happened, it happened. Imagine it, imagine it. I like hey. never miss this gap too. <laughs> Witness me! I just throw the glitch on this hole, honestly. It's totally a glitch hole. Now, Brody, Brody, Brody. If you don't want to get flamed in the comments, you gotta make sure while you uh, while you stand. After, oh yes. After, is... No, I'm saying after the throw. Oh yeah. After the throw. People have been going nuts. People hate on me. me for it. Okay. I, I, but also because yeah, the wood is not. The this is box. this is bad. That's out of bounds. Uh, good. See, I I got See, out of the way. That too would've fast. Been, no, that would have been a tactical. That in was the way. too that, fast. That should have been a tactical in the way. You should have stayed in the way. 
Too stable glitch. You can literally not even bad turn. Oh. Uh, I gotta ask, Simon. Yeah. All you the glitch world champion. No, but I played so bad. I Ooh. actually, I'm just gonna give a quick spoiler. It's gonna be on uh, Gatekeeper Media coverage. But I played oh. with James Conrad and the MVP kid, uh, Landon Brooks, who is, I mean, he's a prodigy. He's amazing. He's, I think he's 12 or 13. Jeez. I could be wrong. He's Small little kid. Ripping the glitch around. <laughs> the glitch. He, he beat me by 14. Ooh. Do we, should we just do like our own like zone world championships and don't, don't invite anyone? Yeah. yeah. So then it's just like me and you so we can consider world me, me, If all we know, that's all that's, that's what it was. It was but no, he played one of the, he plays one of the best rounds I've ever seen by a human. Wow. And he's 30. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you've seen a round by an alien? <laughs> yeah, Paul McBeth. Too stable. Nice. Okay. Are you going summer here? I might. Veteran play. <laughs> Only wise people do it. I hope it's first tree. Yep. Second tree. All right. Okay. I've thrown this hole so many times. <laughs> With a thumber. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because it can walk, but it's just. I, I don't like if it. If you walk up to this hole and you think thumber, you are a madman. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Get your best putter, Simon, because we'll see, we'll see how you do compared to Calvin. Calvin failed this challenge. Oh, we'll I got to get a good angle, y'all. Yeah. We're gonna go between these two trees. Wait, you talking from last year? No, 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 no. Right here, back here, right here. Between these two trees, however you want to try to make it, is the distance has to go between those two trees. Okay. So for right here. No, I'm just saying Calvin failed, so we'll just see how you do. But here. when did he fail? Uh, he failed at Worlds, Fox Run. Oh, it was a similar putt. I a very it. similar putt, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, two. 50% chance. That's pretty good. That's really good. Are you doing a roller? Man, it well, didn't work out this what? time. You know what? Well, that's luck. So. It's all good. Well, here we go. Oh. I think actually this one, it might be easier to throw the backhand than the forehand. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, though, quick, like a 30 second, why this course is good. And if someone hasn't, oh, like, yeah. come up here and, like, you know, because I think this is a really good resort course. It is a course that you fly up here with your buddies and yeah. play for the week. Uh, so, sales pitch, go. Well, this place is awesome. First of all, it has five layouts for any skill level. Like, literally, first timers can have, have fun on the red layout. Was he just pointing at me? <laughs> it, felt, it, felt like, it felt like... It felt like and, I was just getting uh, pointed I mean, you, you did just hit the false tree twice on that putt. <laughs> there's a white, there's a blue, there's a diamond, and then the final gold layout challenge is, like, the best of the best pros. So... It's literally for anyone, and I wouldn't say it's the greatest course in the world, but it's more about the whole feel and vibe mm. about this place. You, like, you just get here, and you take in the smell and the visuals. It just, something is right here. If you had a lot of money, this is what I would do. Take a, two weeks off of work, fly into Boston, or your airport. Worcester. Worcester. Drive over here the 30 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Hang out here for a week and then drive up to Smugs, hang out yeah. there for a week, and then fly home. If you have two weeks of vacation, that's what I would do, because you would have an absolute blast. 262. This is the hole I'm finally gonna ace today, because I've hit every part of the metal I can possibly hit. Do you go backhand turnover? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, so at the Glitch World, real quick, side story. Uh, we're playing the shorts with this, like, just right down there, and I took a seven on this hole. <laughs> Double OB. No, hey, that happens. That happens to people, man. That can happen. No, not on the short. Like, you don't even go over water. Oh, that's good. Is it going to come out just I a little bit at is. the end? It is. it is. A little too much? Hold on. What? Oh. Just left. Did I hit tree? No, Flash. it just faded Flashbacks out. Flashbacks to the Glitch World Championship. Oh, I just threw it too high, probably. Yeah, it just faded out a little too much. It, it was pin high, though. All right, I'm going to go with the forehand. Oh, he likes it, folks. A little drop, slip. drop, drop. Yeah, nice shot. Okay. The reason I hate the forehand <laughs> play. Uh, do you? Everyone does it. It works. I just can't do it. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to tell you. Like, Zoom in on the basket. I don't want to tell you. Uh, oh. You're you're a psycho, but I would say the majority of like AMs are throwing forehand here. Yeah, a lot of people have the natural right? like high hyzer forehand. 
my only foreign that I have is low and straight. That's S. I know. That's, that's all I got. No, I'm that's with it. you. That's hey. For hey. some, I don't know whatever reason hey, it is. This is a bonding moment. Uh, hey, this, I don't want to take away the, from you guys. The high forehand's tough. I think it's just an ultimate frisbee thing. You don't throw low forehands really. really? The backhand to me, like the backhand like to up. me is is so hard. I think the backhand to me is harder than the forehand to you. Really? Yeah, by double, I would say. I bet you could do the forehand consistently. I don't. Low forehand. I'll just ultimate. Try you don't do that. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh. If you guys played ultimate, please just just fast forward the last 15 seconds. Um, I'm not worried about it because everyone who does play ultimate already clicked off, and nobody plays ultimate. So. Wow. All right. Shots fired. I just did an ultimate podcast. Can't see that at all. Just gonna zoom into the basket. That that just might be absolutely terrible for the uh, lighting situation here. Yeah, this hole is tough. No, nope, not feeling it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Because what if you ace it? Because then you're gonna have to throw disc. that in the tournament. I'm just gonna lose it. This. I'm gonna throw this one. <laughs> yeah, you just hit the gap every time. If you can hit the gap every time, why wouldn't you throw it backhand? It's very nice. Super safe. Backhands are OP, man. Backhands are OP. I think it's for the backhand turnover because people were going long all the time. I think I think it definitely makes it definitely puts I think the water more into play now because you are going to have people like think about going deep. I don't hate it. This hole got harder. I like it. But if you land there, do you go to the drop zone? Okay, see, that's what I was going to say. If you go OP here... Oh, gosh, I don't know. See, it, it should be hazard. Because I hate... Yes, I like hazard because I hate that you can just go here and par it. But I also think someone that lands in the middle of the lake and someone that lands here probably both shouldn't go to the drop zone. Right. Maybe I should keep my eyes on the basket. Hole six, par three, 390. Can't wait to hear what Simon thinks about this hole. Please figure it all on the course. Okay, that's okay. Wow, okay. No, all, right, all right, there we go. Yeah, right. Good to know. I had a feeling I was going to get that vibe from him, and he just uh, sealed the deal. One of the more, <laughs> I would say, one of the more flukier holes on the course. Yeah, it's so fluky. Of where you can just hit, throw a good shot, and you just hit a tree and go OB. I can't believe they haven't cleaned it up after all these years. It's just like you throw it a wall of trees and hope for the best. That's just that, so I feel like bad. that middle. Even like uh, so uh, like bad. hitting trees and going straight OB aside, that like bunch of trees right by the basket, short left, is so fluky. Because you can't and really. No one can aim. You can't aim left <laughs> for a seven foot gap that's 400 feet away. <laughs> yeah. No, like that's just not the skill level we have in this ball. Thank and goodness. This, well, this was kind of my point on that hole back there, right? Is like. We're basically throwing the same exact shot, even though the baskets are 40 feet apart. Yeah. Yes. So it's like we shouldn't necessarily have super tight gaps like this way down the field. Okay, this side arm uh, wins me tournaments. It wins me tournaments. Oh, okay. I'm just going to pre shout out. Um, yeah. yeah. Sure does. If it's not OB, it's really good. That's really yeah. nice. This side arm has not done anything in disc golf. Top 28. Top 28 side on one two all. Here's the thing. I'm glad it's not a tournament. One, because that was a terrible shot, but most importantly, that would have probably killed someone. You know, these are these are all good things. Get those shots. That went right over the tee pad of whole th of whole two. Alright, we need to put a little more pop. Oh yeah. One adjustment. And I just met one of the 33s in life. Perfect. Yep. yep. Alright. And that's a putt. Can't wait to hear what that's Ezra has to say about his shot. side arm. This is what the people really want to know. This side um, is a Walsh lefty backhand. I don't know. That is not worse than anything I've ever seen. Oh, oh get see, wrecked! Look at You're that. Trash. The lucky backhand would have gone You're through. Trash. What is this game? You're trash. There's a famous quote that says, "The more I practice, the luckier I get." And uh, I think there's some truth to that a bit. Yeah, I, I don't mind that quote. You better not miss this. this is a sick angle. Gosh. <laughs> Now, that's one thing I don't like, Simon, is when, like, a disc is, like, flying OB and the cameraman stops it. No, that really not. gets my berries tickled. Dude, this is, a, this is a PG channel. I wouldn't know, man. The, camera, the only time I fit play with cameras is in these practice rounds. <laughs> oh, man. It's, uh, it's funny because it's sad. 404, hole 7, par 3. Tight gapper. Yeah, they changed the hole. Now. That was our old tee pad right there. Oh, so, okay. Wow. All right. It's actually significantly harder now. To hit yeah. The initial gap. It's already the, the the gap's hard to hit, and now it's gonna be. I felt like it was already hard to get to the basket from that tee pad. Well, I think they changed the tee, uh, the basket too. Well, I think, I think it's gonna play the same distance. <laughs> they moved the basket closer. Yeah, you're a saying? little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I think all six but. and seven here might be back to back holes on tour that 
are the most likely to go two under or four over, or equally <laughs> as likely. Yeah. Or or have a car drive right down the fairway also. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, of course. Most likely. I think this is a really fun course to play. I actually really enjoy playing out here. I think there is a good mm. challenge. I will say the scrambling at this course, to me, is my favorite type of scrambling. Like when you're off the fairway, oh. you're not getting like ripped apart by thorn bushes. You nope. don't have to worry about poison ivy. And there's enough trees that you can like shot shapes, um, shape shots. So I like that a lot. This is one of those holes on tour where you're mentally prepared for a bogey before you play it. <laughs> <laughs> you're already like okay with it if it happens. You better mentally prepare for a birdie with that shot. Let's skip in. Oh, oh, what a shot. Good shot. Freaking striped it. Mentally prepared. Strong, game. Stronger than everyone else out here. Mentally stronger. Gosh, that was called a yank and a half. Thank you. Oh, flippy boy. And that That's hugged awesome. that right side. Good shot, dude. Oh, uh, is it though? Yep. Oh, actually, pretty favorable yeah. kick. Luckiest player uh, on the tour. The tour is great, actually. Luckiest player on the tour. That. I actually am pretty lucky. Oh. Man, tough oh. camel job today. Try this biscuit on for size. Oh. <laughs> it's never hit the ground, and it never will. Too far? Oh gosh, this is this danger zone? Oh, that's gone. Donated to the Lake of Eight. Most famous hole in the course. I mean, this hole is all made and presented by the fans, really. The famous eight holes are sitting right behind, almost bleacher style, behind the green. Island green, all the way over water. It's a mental battle. Can get windy out here sometimes, and then it come, becomes a really tricky shot. But just like this, right now with no wind, 360 straight shot should be a stock shot for you most like going pros. You like going over mid? Um, the way I'm throwing currently, yeah. yeah you've been throwing that just perfectly. I've achieved perfection. <laughs> Let's see if it keeps going. Oh, I think I ace it. Too high. Drop. Oh. Yeah. That's, good That's such a good disc. Uh, I'm, I wish everyone in the world had that disc. Mm. Is it kind of like your version of the Passion, almost? <laughs> I don't know what the Passion is. Discount, it's a discount pen. <laughs> I think the Passion is probably a bit more understable. See, this is the much. problem, though. I feel like I'm not really throwing that great right now, so it's like. I you to throw that, yeah. Well, It'd be I, nice if you could step up and be like, oh yeah, I wish everyone had this disc. And oh. then you throw, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm not gonna do this. I don't do want everyone to have my disc though. I, I, feel want, like, I want to have my disc. Well, I'm just saying, I feel like I'm not gonna do this disc just. I'm not a nice of a guy, Simon. I'm selfish. Oh. Hold it. Does the passion hold? It does. Not enough. Not en I'm not throwing it great, but. Right into the Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can get a mid there. I'm gonna try mid hex. Flippy flip? No flip. I expected some at some kind of stand up. Oh, just made it. Oh, that's so nose up and so high. Fly! So nose up and so high. All right. I only have one other option. It's a get flippy. Matrix. Matrix versus get flippy. Here we go. A battle that you've never seen. They honestly kind of have the same flight. Ooh. Yes! That's I, really I shorted it. That's sick. Sorry, I got too excited there. <laughs> you gotta chill out, man. That's <laughs> I know. Oh no, that's that's dumb to room. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait Get for floaty. The Get floaty. Get floaty. Get floaty. New oh, disc man. coming out soon. <laughs> man, I am throwing so bad. Okay, this is for the ace for the video. Holy smoke. Miss it all. Miss it all. Fly. Oh! Because they had to cut it black and then you have to have the <laughs> celebration afterwards. <laughs> wow! yeah, I actually do wish everyone had this disc though. I've lost two mids in the water on this hole already this week. Cry me a river. No, how this flies. Oh, cry me a river. Cry me, cry me. Oh, mega three. Oh, no. Hold up the oh, finger. No. Look for the splash. Turns out that was, yeah. Uh, Here's what, here's the thing. <laughs> With the way I'm throwing, I have that disc, I just have with, to go swimming. with the way I'm throwing right now, I should be throwing a fairway as well. And then he does that. 
Good shot, dude. There's always Good a pass. shot. We are here on the drop zone. Very, actually, very easy to get here because there are gaps underneath. I wonder if the Pro Tour is gonna change that. Mm. For some reason, I have a feeling they might. Yeah. Like, just put like some hay or definitely something. Definitely adds to the flukiness of the hole. Because there are, there are some definitely big gaps that you can slide underneath. If you do go B, this is where you're left with. So we're just gonna have a little putt off, us three. It's friendly wagers, because we're just friendly people. We'll do this though. If all three of us make it, I'll give away some disc. I don't know what yet, but we'll do some giveaway. So I think that like disc little, is safe. A little more pressure. I mean, I hope I make this so that way it's not like over after the first attempt. Okay, we're live. No, we're not. Oh man. Okay. Well. Okay. Catch ones. If catch all is if all three of us throw it in the water, also give away. That's. Okay, here we go, Ezra. You have to try to make it. Well, do I do I do it for the do I miss it for no, the fans no, no, no. or make you, it for this? You jam it right in their face and you turn and look at them and you say you do not get a disc. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> Hold on, this is definitely the biggest change on the entire course for this season. We're playing to the same basket location, but the tee box is moved 450 feet left of the old old tee box. So we have this tight corridor up about, what is it, 450 feet, maybe to the public landing zone, which is the top of the hill. And then you have to, you know, throw a touch of shot down to the bottom. With it being so tight though, a lot of people are gonna come up short of the actual like perfect uh, landing zone to attack and then just kind of lay up and hope for a paw. So it's very challenging. It's, it's far enough to where I think you have to kind of rip like a high speed distance driver. It's a big boy. It's like a, it's like a four and a half. I'm going forehand, boys. Forehand, you'll play into palm. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm, gonna, throwing, I'm throwing a backhand nuke to try to get to the to where I can actually go for it. Okay. I'm just gonna throw this and see where this ends up. You would rather say throw a nuke then than uh, this? Uh, this? If you're throwing a forehand, you want to, you can't you don't want it to fade. Yeah, that's a par best case. Okay. I'm throwing super flippy roller disc Ooh. on a hyzer flip, ideally. That's sick. That is such an impressive line. Oh, Good little kick. Kiss too. Wow. Not my first try on this hole ever. I'll take it. Oh, come on. Ooh, that was That's, close. A to cut. That's a very ultimate frisbee style throw. Like just a big hyzer through there. Also can't shake it. Wow. That's maybe way too flippy. That was, uh, I was, I was, uh, yeah. That was way too flippy. All right, a little uh, straighter disc, then try to punch it more left side. That's nice. Yeah, let's see if that's Jeez. enough. Oh, that's the perfect shot. Get left. No, you want to go straight from oh, there. Okay. Oh, okay. You're still short oh, of the landing zone. Okay, so you want to just go past that? I was going to do a callback and say this hole is not as easy as Simon's making it look, but it's difficult as Roy's making it look, but you redeemed yourself. Thanks, man. Hey, appreciate that, man. That was actually like a really good shot. Hey, appreciate that, man. Yeah, fix that, fix that. Nice. Yeah. I'm out here looking like an idiot. What the heck? Oh, my. He threw the best shot this hole's ever seen. And the skip? Oh, oh. Ezzy! It was the tag. Bird. That's why the tag messed me up this whole time. Oh, no. You can see, I mean, we'll throw in a high speed distance driver, pretty much full power, to try to get all the way up in this landing zone to where we can actually see the, the basket. And if you're any, any shorter than like Simon is right now, you've got this corner and these trees to contend with. Oh, no. Which makes it super difficult. Nice game here. Hmm. Good shot though. Juice it. I think this is a cool hole. Is, cool is it? Hole. Is it a little too tough? Yeah, it's well, tough. That's what I'm it's a brand new hole, so it's tough to. That's what I'm saying. I think if they put a, if they put a basket on that stump short of the creek, oh, as an as a second option. Oh, okay. Because then you then from back there, all then you're you're, you're attacking. No I mean, what. you just do the absolute perfect shot to get here, but is that maybe what we need? Maybe only the perfect shots get to the best spots. If this hole doesn't cause major backups, then I'm, I accept it. As yes, a good hole. I agree. Yeah. Oh, did he? Stay up. Nice oh. shot. Easy body. 
Uh, I think it's okay if the pelvic shot is the only way to get a baldy, but I think it's only okay if the pelvic shot isn't impossible. It depends on how hard it is. I think this is like close. It just close it, to it, being if it was out. a little bit wide, I'll gap. Super good hole. Oh, I thought you were gonna make it. it Look like you're pretty confident in your. Oh, third time's a charm. You make your putt. Yay. You make your putt. Yay. And then I'll try this impossible putt back here. Okay, the impossible putt made by Brody. Oh! High man. left. Yikes. Oh, it was impossible. It, it, Simon's right. It was an impossible putt. I, th I said you have nothing, not impossible. All right, folks. That is it here on the front nine at the MVP Open getting ready for the second playoff event. Simon, appreciate you swinging by. Thanks for having me. Make sure you check out Simon on his YouTube channel and his social media and make almost sure- Almost 200K. Almost oh. 200K, wow. Yeah. And make sure you tune in to the back nine on Ezra's channel as we show what happens here leading down to this stretch. That's gonna do it for us. We'll see you guys later. Keep swinging them discs.